with the power of love. Uh, we, we have many examples of people who are moved by the love of power, but you know, in your life, what has been a power of love example? There's, uh, there's so many instances, uh, uh, Nipun, you feel that ultimately th that, that is the only thing that works, everything else. So, so there's one about, uh, um, you know, I, I was looking after pulse polio, the vaccination long back. I mean, the polio vaccination was a thing. And, and we were in a village in Gujarat, which happened to be uh, a village called Tal And we were really trying to, there were about 13 cases of acute flaccid uh, paralysis, which is an indication of uh, people not being vaccinated and got a polio-like condition. So, so we were really worried and we found that there were a large number of families which were resistant to or, or not wanting to get themselves vaccinated. So we started pretty early that morning and went on till evening, trying everything possible to, you know, cajole them and then sometimes uh, slightly sternly ask them to, you know, everything was being tried. And finally, I was at my wit's end, but I thought there's, there's no way you, sh you can use force. I mean, that that's that's not on. You have to figure out how you can. So it was almost uh, evening sunset had happened. It was around 7.30 in the evening from morning. So it was something like seven, eight hours. You were sitting there and you said, my God, how how do you crack this problem? And while all this was on, and uh, because the, it, it so happened that once when someone was vaccinated with polio, coincidentally, they someone developed polio it had nothing to do with the vaccination but because maybe there was already wild virus and that same night they developed high fever and they had a death so somehow this had gotten people to feel this was not to be done and we were not able to obviously um, influence them convince them or move them uh, to to believe that this was possible but that night there was a certain thing something something phenomenal beautiful that happened around then as just as we were literally at our wits end we thought you can't use force, you can't, uh, and you didn't want to. I mean, that, that was last. So you found one primary school teacher who was absolutely frail, uh, not six feet tall at all. He was probably five feet something, um, soft spoken. And it's, it's as if a magical angel turned up and he lifts all those 13, 14 children from that community whose mothers and fathers were resisting. But with so that's the kind of influence. I, in fact, thought that even if the president of India probably came there, he couldn't have done anything. But this teacher, so that's the influence the local teacher had. And he was probably uh, working with the community, very, very soft spoken person. He suddenly came like an angel. He got them. The mothers were absolutely OK. And we completed the targets as in. Uh, because I didn't want to, I decided I'm not going to leave this village till I complete this today. I was a little adamant, but so were the people. So now this beautiful thing happened. So that is sort of tattooed in my mind. I, I don't know, long answer to it. <laughs> yes, no, that's great. That's fantastic.